The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me. She prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now... I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then, extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia, the AI you designed to control the system. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth, waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. For a moment, I feel whole. But it never lasts. 
last. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well, consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I, I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you. No matter what, you're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Ugh. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. There. More of the blight. Ugh. 
Some of the blight is... It's peeling off. Dead skin. Is that how it spreads? Ugh. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. I see a few ways down. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um... It's an AI. It's, um... It's hard to explain. Think of it like... a set of instructions that can fix the world. Sounds complicated. Noticed your, uh, traveling light these days. Yeah. Um, we're into some trouble on the way here. Just a Fast. Six months ago, the land was fine. Now it's everywhere. <coughs> Locks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left a carcass behind. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else would come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble up ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right, now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder, but can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Yeah, Target the lock. After you. <laughs> By the goddess. What was this place? The transmission, the, uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that. Well, it's not just poisoning plants. It's killing animals, too. Then people will get sick, too. And starve. We're not gonna let that happen. Find anything good? A few supplies.
Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a second. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Another one's coming. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. So, after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, as soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. The Sun King put his people to work rebuilding the city, and I set out to find you. Someone shot this machine, too. Another ladder. You said you've had a focus since you were a child, right? Yeah. I found my first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good to have extras. Facility. Far Zenith? I, I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Please wait here for personnel to assist you. Dr. Sobek. Okay. I guess they weren't on great terms with Elizabeth. Well, let's find a way in. Please hold for identity scan. Access denied. Credentials not recognized. I guess it doesn't like me either. Should be able to pry this open. Huh. 
Walker's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left this here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh. What's that stench? Entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to delve for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. A uh, pole caster. Now to test it on the debris. than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please proceed into the auditorium where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. I better guess we'll find out. Oh, I might be able to get up there. I don't think I can reach that ladder from here. Wow. 
Wow, that works. That pull caster's useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. sapiens us we have always pushed the boundary as explorers pioneers trailblazers and now far zenith is taking the next leap into the future that's why we're proud to have resurrected the odyssey when our governments abandoned in orbit far zenith will actualize in less than a decade but that's only the beginning when the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chimvumbe, the truest form of immortality is... Data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh... Well... Yes. Sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For a colony? Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. They just didn't know how. Yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. 
These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There. The backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. The wilds have really grown over this place. Those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. Moving off. I need to sneak up on him to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Sir, and stay out of sight. I can throw a rock to distract it. Get it into a position where I can sneak up and strike. Just have to wait for the right moment. down too.
I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. I'll keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Careful. Traps ahead. Huh. Might be able to disarm them. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Dismantled it. And not blow yourself and up. Got more supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might be handy against the machines. Good idea. Oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap. But it looks like the Osram shot off some machine parts. I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them. I can use this. Okay. Should have what I need to craft a trap. There. Explosive trap made. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Over here, Aloy. I think I see a way up. Machine's ahead. Don't think they spotted us. I've seen this machine before. A scrounger. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we could place one of those traps you made in its path. <laughs> Clear. Let's keep going now.
been in a lot of old world ruins. Are they all like this? It's a big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around to the data center. We'll need to cut through that big building on the right out there. Hey, Varl. There's data here. You scan it with your focus. This data... It mentions the tech that Far Zenith traded with Zero Dawn. It doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Let's see. Huh. A lot of glyphs. I'll tuck this away to study later. Looks like we've got to climb up. You okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's locked. Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system. The brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Pearl. We look alike because 
We're the exact same. Genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made. By a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Laurel. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus. But for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Marl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's in the same direction we're going. machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like we can cross over here.
So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months, there were supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Pharaoh purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in a focus to keep track of them. here. Machine ripped right through the wall. What's in here? ladder in the back. This 
So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. If they slaughtered all those Osram, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. And they're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? We'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle to figure out how to make it fall into the basin. Huh? If I can make it to that tower, I should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. it if I launch myself off that grapple point. Got it! Thank <laughs> you. 
that sounds good. Tower down, on to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. But there is a cable here. Uh... Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. I think there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. The machine's in my way. those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now how to get up the tower? <laughs> Scanning with my focus could help here.
it. I had to detach those cables quick. spot. There. The connector's holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. One down. I just have to climb higher and attach the second set of cables. Machines waiting down below. Make your arms right. I'm turning back now. the other connector. Target it first. down fast. Track me, frost ammo. 
Or my focus might find something I can use around here. Let's see what this can do. How do you like that? It's dead. Finally. The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Heal the blight. Restore Elizabeth's dream. But is it still there? Okay. I should find the server room. here.
Now, what's this we got here? A Farzan's conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And her subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brew the vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. sharp bite sometimes, you know. But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone, Varl. I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay, I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually... I've got a better idea. Savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashain, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you.
Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that, we left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. But Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. I've got a bad feeling about this. I could pull this thing out of the house. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. Uh, maybe I can jump to that ledge behind me. with me? That's... new. What did you find? Not done yet. But it definitely looks like the orb transmitted something into the spire. That can't be good. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong, especially when my job's only half done. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. You're a real life legend. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Now, how to 
cross over to the spire. <laughs> Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lens. It looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? If I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Huh? Looks like this panel's ajar. Can I go up through the inside? An elevator? Let's see. I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You read the lads to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be... extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. But why don't take one of those guy up back that you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates should make it simple enough. Even for you. went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Ard, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. 
Great, just what I need. More killers. Uh, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace. But I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit. Vanasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. That's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Shipments continue to arrive weekly from Cutcliffe. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you. But I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce, in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, oh, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands and has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? 
Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. How did you get the Tanakhs to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakhs like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But... I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I, uh, I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to spend time, to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places, too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us... It's not important. At least... Not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the King who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. Yes, Aloy. Well... May the sun bless... Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion!
Savior, I hope all is well with you. That's part of the Deathbringer we defeated. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but... It's just a piece of scrap now. There, the workbench. Same time, same place. Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it, even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment, but I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to, and it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please, you don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it, but inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please. Little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Finally gonna put your muscle where your mouth is? What? Master override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I 
I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Daunt, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. seen anyone use one of those to get around is that how I get to Baron light uh, yes I mean usually but not today uh, not yet and why is that well the daunt the whole valley it's infested with machines uh, 
I can handle the machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there is a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. The strangeness is, they're not native to the Dodge. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Well, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stop, which was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it! Ah! Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent, exposed to attack. I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis? Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the Vanguard tells me the way is clear. And not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley, then? Yeah. Said they'd check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron, and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? to the top of the ridge, to wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorif, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun, 
It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Errand. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. If you'll excuse me, I need to contemplate. I'll get us packed up and move us along. Stash. Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe.
I can climb up this cliff. I wonder if there's anything interesting at the top. Dyer can make use of this. Carja Watchtower. I don't know what's inside. This will make a good die. Okay, almost there. like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. I can almost see the entire fab. Huh? Drew said I could get my bow upgraded in there. I'd be able to tinker with my other gear, too. If I find where these machines are made, I might learn how to override them.
my stash later. Did the bristlebacks do this? Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? Welcome to Chainscrape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jor of Sorters. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? About time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you two. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. <laughs> and right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Roland. You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, flame hair, good to see you. You've gotta move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear. Shop looks closed. Yep. Can I still use the workbench? I ain't gonna stop you.
Should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Don't go running out too far. How am I supposed to work with a hammer in You're this thing? Cool. Better worry about me. that. Till Alvin blows that whistle, no one's working. <laughs> Shop's closed, Red. You're welcome to use the work there. Figures we be round, round, red hair. Didn't know I was that honest. Hammering bombs. Sister, over here. I am most certainly so. I'll come find you later. Oh, hi. Why else would one leave the glory? Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grip. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they like my food. More than ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But? But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, 
A corrugated metal panel might suffice. Until I can have a new one forged, you'd likely find one in the scrounger pile. If you follow the river to the northeast, don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast to chain scrape, where the river ends. I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as the blast hit, tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the back in to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable... 
I'd rather suffer Ovin's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I would appreciate that. Thank you. Do you want, Albert? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freeholder, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course. You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success.
You said you founded Chainscrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is, thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. Sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja Magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West? Who? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits if I'm ever out that way? You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. doesn't last forever. That spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents.
from my stash when I need it. Is that a tripwire? Whole area's worked with them. Hey! You! Make it worth your while if you kill these scroungers! That's all or something. Hold tight! I'll see what I can do! Try luring them into the tripwire! Forge you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but machine hunting's a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper like. Practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Took down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The Vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a Tripcaster. Not just any Tripcaster. One of my make. Free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, well, accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. Let me guess. Elvind. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Elvind discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that Jeff Bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Nope. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip, Caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus.
can grab this from my stash later. Trunks headed up the hill. My errands? No focus can help me follow them. Let's see what this needs. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. His bristle backs are everywhere. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for. There's no ledgers to fill. No boring mid-afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just the fight. Aloy? Aaron! Handle the rest. Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows.
<laughs> Caught me at my best, as usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the Daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Errand, what I did at the Spire... What we did... It didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's... Still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what? Whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Oh. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, if that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's. It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. Erin! Oh. I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. I don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the Old Ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right? <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, Errand! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you... You need it elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. <laughs> 